uh, mention that we have CircuitPython, which is code plus community. Uh, and to celebrate that, we have our CircuitPython or Python on microcontrollers newsletter. Uh, new issue comes out every week. Uh, and you can get this in your email. It doesn't cost anything. Again, we promise not to spam. You just go to adafruitdaily.com uh, and you can get that in your mailbox. You can also go right here. I went to adafruitdaily.com and there's a link uh, pretty much right at the top to see the latest issue of the uh, Python on microcontrollers newsletter. Uh, some news here. We have 10,024 newsletter subscribers. Uh, so you're in good company. And, and I love this graphic that Bruce did for our 10,000 thanks uh, for 10,000 subscribers, a little over 10,000 subscribers. Um, some other things that, uh, stood out from here. There's an article on real-time operating systems. Uh, I saw the Raspberry Pi Pico now has manufacturing happening in Kenya. Uh, I don't know. Where is the other one? Is the other one in England? Do I have, I don't have a Pico right here. I'm guessing the other ones are made in England, but I'm actually not sure. That's my guess. Uh, there are links to Python on hardware content on Mastodon. Getting more interest in Mastodon as a social uh, network type of place. Uh, links here to Tim's deep dive, as well as my uh, CircuitPython Parsec from last week, and a link to the CircuitPython show with Paul Cutler. Uh, some project of the week and some other cool projects, like this Pico Dev M3 uh, rotary encoder knob PCB that's running uh, MicroPython, I believe, and C++. Uh, and also I saw there was a nice little um, connection machine. You can see here with all these uh, tiny little graphics, kind of miniature version of the connection machine here. Uh, and also this one's cool. Actually, this was related to something I'll be doing more of tonight. Uh, our good friend Todd Kurt had his PicoStep RP2040 uh, sequencer featured in Magpie magazine, not only the magazine made of pixels, but the one made of ink and paper. So the physical edition, uh, if you get that, you can go check out Magpie magazine. And there's an article in there about Todd's very cool Pico step sequencer. I have one right over there and I'll be, I'll be talking about that in a little bit. Uh, let's see, whales. Okay. Paul Cutler said whales may be where the, the other manufacturing is for Picos. Thanks, Paul. Uh, and you can see there's a lot of other projects in here that you can go and check out. It's a great place to keep up on the latest news if you don't want to spend too much of your own time digging around all of the deep recesses of the internet. Uh, we have people doing that for us. Uh, thanks so much, Anne and team. We also accept submissions. Uh, this is, I believe, I'm trying to remember how the submissions work on this. Let's see. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. We might mention, do we have a thing on here? Uh, team, oh, we have uh, updates from the team. Uh, CircuitPython team members, upcoming events, latest releases, and contribute. There it is, right down at the bottom. Uh, you can check out the full archives with the link there, as well as submit a pull request on the GitHub. So we actually use GitHub to create the... Um, newsletter. I think this one's done in a, in a markup language and you can go and, and submit items in there as well. Uh, or post any questions in the forums or Discord. So that is the Python on microcontrollers newsletter.